بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم والصلاة والسلام على أشرف المرسلين حبيبي إله العالمين أبي القاسم محمد We continue our discussion about the, 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 the tragedy or the, the crime committed towards Sayyidah Fatima Zahra alayhi salam uh, and just we, we try to keep laying the, the foundations of our uh, discussion so everybody become oriented about what, what is going on and uh, hopefully uh, the, the person who is interested is keep following and building the blocks so at the end we have a complete building in front uh, of us. Uh, so today also I need to make some uh, 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 or to lay some of the foundations uh, based on the court system in the United States that is the country we are living in and we can uh, 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 check this laws and systems here and it is followed in in the in the whole world so it becomes something like universal we can verify verify how the the law system uh, uh, running here in the united states because based on that we try to use this system to build our case so here in in the court system and of course if somebody is lawyer he can help us to understand better this there is two kind of suits. Uh, there is the, the, the criminal suit where there is uh, jurors and there are judges and there is a crime has been committed. And that is one thing, but there is something else. They called it the civil suit. The civil suit is a little bit different from the criminal case. In the civil suit, you, uh, uh, yes, there is a prosecution, there is a lawyer, there is a judge, there is a jurors. But the measures here are different from the criminal case. In civil cases, uh, there is nothing called guilty beyond reasonable doubt. That is only in criminal case. But in civil case, they use something called the preponderance of evidence the overwhelming uh, uh, proofs or evidence which come uh, even if it is 60% uh, of the evidence with while 40% of the evidence are not conclusive as long as it is a majority is uh, uh, conclusive then the jurors say it is guilty because there is some civil rights based on that Mm. And I give example for this, the, the famous case of O.G. Simpson when he killed his wife or accused of killing his wife on uh, uh, 1994. It was a very famous case. Yep. Anybody can refer to it later. Uh, uh, what happened uh, in the criminal case, in the criminal trial, uh, uh, the jurors consider him not guilty. So he walked he get exonerated from the criminal uh, uh, trial because he has a very good lawyer. They were able to inject the racial matters and some of the African-Americans and they, uh, 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 they didn't accept even the overwhelming uh, uh, evidence at that time. They, they at the end, they, uh, some of them say, no, we are, he is not guilty beyond the reasonable doubt. That is why the judge has to exonerate him. That does not mean that he didn't commit, but uh, there, there was some doubts, and that's why he woke. He didn't uh, prove the guilty. But what happened after that, that the families of the victims, the family of his wife and the being killed with that, they go and sue him civilly in the court. They make what they call a civil suit against him. <clears throat> mm -hmm. accusing him yeah. of something they called it wrongful death that he caused the death of uh, 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 his wife and her friend and they ask for some compensation for from him and he go to another trial but this trial now it is not criminal trial it is a civil uh, uh, suit which has already judges but no prosecution here it has judges and the lawyers, his lawyers uh, versus the lawyers of the victims. Mm. And there is a jurors. But here in this case, in the civil case, oh, 
the you didn't have to prove that he is guilty beyond the reasonable doubt. Mm. No. So if 60% of the Jews say that they are satisfied that he is he commits a crime and he is responsible civically for the crime, then the judge take that and he judges him. And he that's what has happened. Right. That right. he lost his civil case mm. uh, uh, with the relatives of the of the victims. And the judge found him guilty. The jurors found him guilty, but not beyond the reasonable doubt. Found him guilty, and the judge sentenced him for a very heavy uh, sentence, financial. He has Fun, to pay yes. a lot of money. After that, he get ban bankrupt. Yeah, thirty-three point five million. Yes, exactly. Oh, thank God that you remember the case. Yes, yes. So I just this is one of the foundation which I want to lay. Okay. Yeah. Now, my opinion, my opinion, that because the crime of the killing of Sida Zahra has long passed, and because the criminals themselves has died already, so we are not gaining anything from the criminal charges. We are going, not going to sentence them to death, for example, or life sentence. So we can go for the civil rights suits for the mm -hmm. civil suit, because here the level of uh, 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 the verdict is uh, is uh, lower than the level of a guilty verdict in the criminal uh, suit. So here, even if, uh, if not all the evidence show that those commit the crime, if at least 55 or 60 or 70 percent, just 70 percent, of the evidence show suspicion that somebody was beyond the wrongful death of the victim, then in civil court, he is guilty. Right. He is guilty and responsible to pay the comp compensation. That is what we, 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 we try at least, at least to say that some people here were responsible civically for wrongful death at least we didn't say that they bring a knife or a, a sword and they kill instead of Fatima. But they, uh, they were responsible for setting the stage and causing circumstances which lead to the death of the victim, which is here, Sayyidah Fatima Zahra alayhi mm -hmm. So that is one of the foundation which I want to lay mm -hmm. even because at the end, guilty is guilty. The standard yes. of of uh, of uh, uh, guiltiness in the criminal court is so high. So if just one juror say uh, uh, no, I have some doubt. That's it. Even if uh, if the other 12, uh, 11 jurors uh, approve that if the case is is is, is gone and the uh, uh, the criminal guy he will walk out of the court free. Right. But we right. here we accept because of this. Theory, two reasons I accept even to deal with it as a civil suit. And and I think so that, that's a very good point, Dr. Hadden, because there are two dimensions. One is to uh, understand like uh, the, the part of conviction, whether this happened and who's responsible, but then the consequences of that uh, decision has so many implications for everyone for the last 1400 years that exactly. this is not an easy thing. We cannot just ignore like, okay, this person has already died, so we should ignore it because it laid the foundation of what happened in 1400 years. Absolutely, absolutely, mm -hmm. absolutely. And definitely we'll come back to this point and discuss it at the end because some people will ask, oh, what is the value of all of this? What is right. all this to do with the Dean? We are going to connect to that at the end. Perfect. Then Perfect. We have to. Perfect. The second foundation, which I I I I, I, I want to uh, uh, lay here or to talk about, uh, you know, the crimes are have many types. Ask any lawyer. He told you in the law there is crime is not just one kind. There is many kind of crimes. So, so, for example, you have the hate crimes, mm -hmm. you had the financial crimes, if somebody uh, 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 steal 
uh, some money or play in some of the records and he was able to make money out of that especially if you work in a bank or some uh, that financial crimes yes bernie madoff recently died yes exactly yeah. uh, and there is for example war crimes mm-hmm. which is d- totally different from hate crimes and from financial crimes right yep and there is something they called political crime mm. they called it in arabic al jarima al siyasiya or the political crimes in this political crime the motivation behind the there is a crime but the motivation behind this crime is not to steal money is not just i kill this person because i hate him no i kill this person because he is my political rival mm. we have to give some examples for example assassination of kennedy which kind of crime is this political crime mm-hmm. the assassination of andira gandhi which kind of crime is this political uh, crime the assassination of abraham lincoln which kind of crime is this criminal a uh, 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 political crime the assassination of al rafiq al hariri in lebanon in 2005 it is a, a political crime even the 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 the, the one very famous one the 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 the, the killing of zulfiqar uh, uh, ali bhutto in pakistan even he yeah. has been a killed through a, a, a death sentence this yeah. consider what consider a, a a political crime because the, right. the guy has been tried for what he tried that he uh, because he they accuse him that he uh, uh, urged to kill uh, his opponent in the in the election right so that for them that was enough to uh, uh, give him a political or a cinema political crime and he has been sentenced to death from that in the nature of political crimes usually in the political crimes before these crimes go to the court to see if the person is guilty or not if even there is a, a criminal has been arrested because most of this crime who kill uh, uh, banazir bhutto no one knows no one knows who killed kennedy until now N- most of the cases have a, a, a mujrim a criminal guy uh, 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 in front of the court right but in most cases especially the political crimes in most cases in the political crimes if for example you find two persons are uh, uh, going for uh, el- they are candidates for a uh, senate election against each other two person opponent to each other both of them seek the, the senate seat mm. then suddenly suddenly one of them died in mysterious way among the campaign some of them died in mysterious case right mysterious circumstances usually before this case go to the court in the public opinion in the public opinion uh, 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 point of view usually there is some they call political indictment mm. or political charges these political charges usually based on what based on the rivalry so mm-hmm. if one of uh, of uh, if uh, one senator has been died mysteriously usually you and i and anyone will jump to conclusion preliminary that oh definitely his rival the other candidate who is uh, competing with him for the seat he's behind his killing right. that is the assumption he's, yeah. he's He, th- th- that is a very logic even before the case go to in front of the court 
Look, for example, now, and those Lebanese know, know that very well. So just any person uh, 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 who have different view uh, uh, from uh, the, the resistance in, in Lebanon, if he get killed, even before the trial, even before any investigation, people jump to conclusion and they said, oh, the resistance killed this person because he is not agreeing with them, even if he is a Shia. Mm -hmm. Because he is not uh, going with it. <laughs> the same thing happened in Iran. When some of, of, of the, of the uh, famous religious figures get died mysteriously, they accuse the regime in Iran that he tried to get rid of his rivals, even before investigation, before anything. Why? Why is that? Because the political crime has its own nature. Because it happened based on the rivalry, based on that there is a, a, some political ambition in somebody, with somebody, faced with some political ambition with another body. So one of them want to get rid of the other. So he become the only candidate or the, the only person eligible to take the job, the political job. That is a, just a summary for the, 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 the that's exactly what happened with the, with the case of, uh, of Zulfaqar Ali Boto. I read a lot about this case. Actually, the case when in front of the of the judge, there was no evidence, real evidence, which connect Zulfiqar Ali Boto to the killing of his rival in the election. Not, not, but just they 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 base their uh, guilty verdict that who is get benefited from killing of mm -hmm. this guy was being killed. I think in a car accident. And they suspect that this was fishy, that was not normal. And they jump to conclusion, because there was a political motivation, that definitely who is responsible for his death? His rival, Zulfaqar Ali Boto. So that it was enough for them, even without any other evidence, which connect him directly to the case, to issue a, a guilty verdict and sentence him to death. Even without any uh, 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 true evidence, the whole uh, trial uh, based on the political, the political uh, uh, rivalry between Zulfiqar Ali Boto and the victim in the case, because both of them were uh, standing against each other, uh, other in I think a local election. It, it was uh, just a local election. It was something like that, as I remember. So I hope now that everybody is, is understanding what I mean by the political crime. Right. What is the nature of the political crime? So we want to say that the, the, the crime of uh, which lead to the, to, the, to, the, to the death, premature death of Sayyidah Fatima Zahra, or the wrongful, uh, wrongful death of Sayyidah Fatima Zahra, was a political crime. It was not a hate crime, and it was not a religious crime. Sayyidah Fatima Zahra has not been killed because she didn't uh, pray the five times, or she didn't fast in Ramadan, or she break her fast publicly in Ramadan, or she commit one of the crimes of Islam, which Islam uh, uh, sentenced the person who do that to, uh, to death. Her, uh, 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 the killing of Sayyidah Fatima Zahra has nothing to do with religion. Those who we accuse them to conspire against their against her, we can't say that, oh, they killed her because they hate her, they didn't like her. Nobody can say that. Or they kill her because there was a war between the two sides and this has become a war crime. No, it was not like that. They didn't kill her because they, there has, she has a lot of money and they want to confiscate this money from her, a, 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 a financial crime. No. So what was the crime? It was a political crime. Political mm -hmm. because politics was behind this crime, was the main motivation. 
So to prove that the political crime, it is very enough to us to prove that there was a rivalry. If there was a rivalry, any logical person will jump to conclusion that, oh, if young man who was a candidate for an election and he prematurely died, then definitely you think about his rival in the election. That is so logic. Yeah. So, Sayyidah Fatima Zahra died in a mysterious way. She is very young age. Here, you have to say who was the rival because that is a political crime. If we exclude all other type of crimes, the only thing left is a political crime. So we have to look who was the political rivals of Sayyidah Fatima Zahra or what Sayyidah Fatima Zahra represent or the side of Sayyidah Fatima Zahra. Who was the political rival? If we can prove the political uh, 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 rivalry here, we achieve a very good, uh, very important achievement. In another way, if we can say who get benefited politically from the disappearance of this character, Sida Fatima Zahra, from the stage. Mm -hmm. If we know that, if we conclude that, definitely you will start to point the finger to the criminal or those who are responsible for her death. That is in the public opinion, even before we go to the a court of law, even before we call our witness, even before we call the jurors, even because before the, uh, the, the, the prosecutor and the judge. In the, in the view of the public opinion, imagine, imagine, if, if uh, uh, Biden has an election with uh, uh, um, a, a campaign in election with a Trump. And imagine that even if, they, if, if, if both of them are old age, even and on the climax, just two days before the election, suddenly in a mysterious way, one of them died suddenly even they are old age both of them are old age but suddenly mysteriously one of them died not assassinated by died what the public opinion will say can you tell me please so the, the other other look at the beneficiary whoever benefited yes, is probably definitely, if mysteriously you find uh, mr trump suddenly died mysteriously Anybody, any reasonable body will say, oh, definitely Biden and the Democrat behind this. That's not normal, mm. right? Yep. So just look for who is politically the beneficiary of the absence or the, the, the removal of that character from the political scene. And then you can reach the beginning of the of the uh, uh, conclusion of the case. So of course, the, the, it, it was important to lay these two foundations before we proceed. So any person listen to that, whatever evidence we are going to uh, uh, present, now he understands first what we need. We need a civil suit. We didn't need a criminal suit because the, 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 the criminals in this case has died long time ago. So we didn't seek a death sentence or life uh, sentence for them. We call a wrongful death suit that they, they ha somehow cause the circumstances which lead to the killing of that person. They call it wrongful death. Yes. So after laying all these foundations about the civil uh, suit or the wrongful uh, uh, death, uh, mm -hmm. a suit which we didn't have to prove beyond reasonable doubts the level here is just a preponderance of evidence is more than enough to prove the guiltiness mm -hmm. and this make us free and second the description of the crime the description of the crime is very important so you can understand mm -hmm. that nobody ac accusing them of going intentionally to kill Sida Fatima Zahra Nobody accusing them that the, 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 the killing of Sita Fatima Zahra was because of religious re reasons or just pure criminal reasons or just because of 
hate crime or because of financial crime. No, that's why it is important to describe the crime. The crime was purely political. Mm -hmm. And it was wrongful death from some people who trying to uh, make uh, 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 to achieve political ambitions. I give another example for this. For example, if I uh, that is why that is why the, 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 they take these measures against the uh, the the, uh, the attack on the uh, Capitol. They put the blame on whom? On uh, Trump. Even though maybe Trump didn't order the direct attack on the on the on the Capitol building, he didn't tell them. That. But they considered him responsible because because of his political ambition. That is called all all of this damage. Mm -hmm. So he was behind even the wrongful death of two three uh, police officers and one of his supporters. Right. He caused this. Yes, he didn't intend to kill them, but they are victims of his political ambition. True. You got now what I am. I, I mean. Yes. Yes. Very good. Very yes. good. But I feel that I st I I put the foundations of the building which I intend to build. This is very good. This yes, is very this is the foundation. It it enable me now to uh, uh, start to put the blocks yes. over the ground. Yes. Yes. After you put the foundation under the ground, now you can put the foundation. If this is for any someone who is really interested. And right. inshallah, at the end, we have to answer these uh, uh, two questions, especially the first one, what is the relationship of the Musiba of the Hara and your hereafter? Yes. That is very important. That's a crucial. That's right. very important because it, 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 it should a direct a, a big misunderstanding about Islam and that is uh, that is actually it's what's the main difference between us and them but we have to uh, 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 address it in a very logical way based on evidence from the Quran and the Sunnah yes not just a uh, debate between two uh, fractions of Muslim no yeah. so the Hujjah will stand against them and also the second one, the, the position of Imam Ali alayhi salam uh, uh, during all these events, inshallah. Yeah.